currently on a big road trip across Atlantic Canada and we finally made it to our last stop, uh, Prince Edward Island. Now, if you don't know Prince Edward Island, it's a tiny little island province out here in Eastern Canada, which is probably best known for a big ass bridge, red sand, and some delicious seafood. We only arrived here on the island sometime yesterday afternoon, and our plan for today's video is to test our culinary skills and see about cooking lobster out of the back of uh, out of the back of the SUV. How is it? Good. All right. We're out of here. Off to explore PA. Yeah. Oh, dogs. We miss Chester a lot. We do. Every dog we see. <laughs> Chester would have loved this trip too. Kind of, uh, kind of feels like we're on Mars here. And garlic. Hey, how's it going, man? Good, what's going on? Let's take a lobster. What lobster? One lobster. Where's that lucky one? I don't know. That guy looks particularly like, tasty, I'd say. Yeah. We got a live one. Poor guy. All right. Well, we got. <laughs> we got Larry the lobster. I was trying not to name him, but he's now Larry the lobster. He's on the menu tonight, and he's currently chilling in some ice. We also got a pot. That's something we didn't bring on this trip. It's because of space. We got a pot. We got Larry and uh, some other ingredients for uh, for lobster Head dinner. Northwest toward Babino Avenue. Directions. Well, we found a spot. Um, issue is there's a no overnight parking sign, so. Probably just gonna do the cook. We're gonna make our meal here, we're gonna make dinner, and then I guess we'll have to find uh, somewhere, else, somewhere to sleep. Even my tires are turning red from all the the red dirt around here. Take Larry out of here. A blue lobster in honor of Larry. That's good. From reading online, it seems that you're best to boil your lobster in salted water. And conveniently, we're located right beside the Atlantic Ocean. So for Larry over there, we're gonna boil him in uh, just some fresh seawater. How's it look? There we go. Ah, looks good. Good yeah. job. I'm just cutting some lemon wedges here. And some parsley. There we go. Not, not the time that neither me or Larry has been looking forward to um, but the inevitable time time to dispatch this lobster okay, so you do it 
And it's gonna make a mess. Yeah. Right here, starting there. Okay. And then crunch down. Sorry, brother. Forward. Yep. Yeah. You should be dead. Oh, that was harder. Yeah. Oh. Hey, buddy. Sorry, Larry. Larry Bear. I know that might have seemed a little gruesome, but from what I've read online, that's the quickest and most humane way to dispatch a lobster. I'd say it's a lot more humane than just putting them in boiling water alive. Sorry, doesn't claw you. <laughs> I know, I'm worried he might still get me. Revenge from the dead. <laughs> well, Larry knows it's not personal. Okay, opening the lid. Well, we read online that to cook uh, lobster, it's seven minutes per pound. So ours was 1.3 pounds. So we're gonna do about eight minutes. Just winging it, but it should be good. And while the lobster, oh, a lobster is cooking, we're gonna get some butter melted too. We're not too fancy right now. We're just gonna add some garlic powder to make our garlic butter. Maybe throw some parsley in there as well. Oh yeah, yeah. That sounds amazing. Larry looks done. <laughs> Very done. Sorry Larry, rest in peace. I'm also gonna devour you. <laughs> Heavy. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna try to take the tail off. It yep. seems easy in videos. Grab the whole thing. Oh, you did it. Good job. Yep. It's what we eat. Like I could just chill right there. <laughs> Snap the fins off. There you go. It's easy. Keep them. There's mm -hmm. meat in there, apparently. Oh. Okay. Oh, here we go. Nice. Yeah. There's a lobster tail. Lobster tail. Should we eat it now? Gotta eat it. And then crack the rest as we go? I think so. Okay. Dig in. I'm gonna have the tail. Probably the best part, isn't it? Might be. Want to add some lemon on it? Sure. Oh. oh man, <laughs> so good. I think we need some paper towels. And bibs. Get messy. That was really good. Oh, can you eat all that? I think so. One bite? Seems like a big bite. To go with our lobster, we have some potato salad in honor of PEI and their potatoes. It's a very PEI themed meal. <laughs> <laughs> For the claws, we watched a tutorial. So you take that off. You take the actual claw off of the knuckle. There you go. Okay. Nice. That and in apparently, a... there's a lot of water in here. Oh, yeah, look. <laughs> and you move the claw to get all the water out so you don't get messy when you crack it open. Yeah. Because the meat actually sticks to that. So now, use our knuckle crackers. Knuckle crackers? What do you call them? Yeah. You crack all yeah. around the meat. Yeah, you gotta go. Really? Yeah. It doesn't want to stay in there. <laughs> it looks dry. Yeah, I don't know. This is not gonna work. Really? Mm -hmm. Got these little dinky. What we thought. All in one can opener, bottle opener. We thought this cracker. would be. Uh, sufficient for opening up the claws and unless we're just not doing it right it's uh no, this it's isn't gonna faulty, cut it it's not gonna cut cracker. it cracker we're gonna try something else i feel like we're on alone right now <laughs> surviving with our 17 dollars lobster yeah that's the winner all right we're getting desperate well hopefully this works because if not i don't really know what we're gonna do oh it worked okay that was great <laughs> Wow. Nice. That got us a lot of meat. Oh. oh. The tenderizer. 
Yeah. That one doesn't look as good as the other one. For it's some much reason. smaller. Oh, they usually have a smaller. They do, don't they? Yep. Why is that? Science. Oh. What do you give a uh, lobster out of ten? Oh, How do we do? Eleven. <laughs> yeah, this is a ten for me. This is um, I never knew what was gonna hit the ten out of ten mark for me, but I think this does this it. Is it with the ocean in the back, the weather, just everything? Even with those claws not working. Yeah. <laughs> Still eleven out of ten. I'd say not bad for first try. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Oh hell yeah. Oh hell yeah. Bye Larry. So many dogs here. <laughs> Paradise. We made it. Yay. Made it to our site. And we opted to just book out a camp spot tonight just for easiness. This will do just fine for the night. There's a nice beach down there. And we'll go uh, check out the sunset. Maybe have another blue lobster. How are you feeling, Jewel? Sleepy. Had a nice campfire, watched the sunset, and pet a bunch of dogs. Today was a great day. Hopefully we have a great sleep. And we will catch up with you guys in the morning. Morning. Mm. How'd you sleep? Okay. Want some coffee? Mm -hmm. Badly? Yeah. Okay. I'll get better at that. It's crazy. Last night was our uh, last night camping on this trip. Citizens. Yeah, I'm looking forward to my bed in Chester. Yeah. It was a fun trip. I don't think I could picture a better way to finish up the PEI video than sitting on a big red rock. <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed our East Coast road trip as much as we did. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.